India is one of those countries where there's something stunning no matter where you look. It's filled with culture and brimming with different foods, communities, and everything in between. The culture in this country is like no other place, and every day more and more people are discovering what a great history India brings to the world. A lady sings out to her neighbor. But in a place where there's always something to learn, there are also a few bizarre discoveries that come about every day. You never quite know what you're gonna get. But today, we're gonna tell you about what some other people have found where we cover 15 mysterious discoveries found in India. Number 15. Village with no doors. We've all done it in the past, leaving our doors open during the day, especially if you're living in a nice neighborhood where you can trust your neighbors. It's not uncommon to have that perspective from time to time. That's probably a good environment to live in. But what if we told you in one town there are no doors at all? Forget about locking them. You don't even have to close the door because there isn't one. In a town called Shani Shingdapur, that's exactly what happens. There are no doors to speak of. And even without that little bit of protection, the town still attracts about 40,000 people every day. And it's not just because of the doors, it's because of a 300-year-old legend. Now, they didn't just get rid of doors for the heck of it. They do it because of the story of Shani Shingnapur in India's Marshastra state. This is where the villagers show their piety to Lord Shani. This lord is the god of Saturn, and he's considered the guardian of the village. The legend dates back to 300 years when a giant flood hit the town. The Lord of Saturn had then appeared in the dreams of the villagers. It was revealed that a rock that had washed up on shore was his idol. He ordered that the town should keep the rock and it would help protect the villagers for eternity. He would also reside inside of it. And the villagers believe in his Lord with their entire hearts. They don't even ask anyone to watch their house when they go on vacation. What do you think? Would you take the door off out of faith? Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. It's a relic like no other. At first glance, it looks like something out of a Marvel movie. Covered in green dust, which some say is rust, and gold coloring with designs that look like snakes all around it. This sphere is nothing less than mysterious. It was found in India, but the exact location is unknown. It's only ever been one photo taken of it. And this is because Delure says that every camera trying to take a photo of it has broken. It was in the hands of researchers for a good while, but they couldn't decipher the meaning or purpose of the relic. Since then, the researchers have stopped trying to figure things out when it comes to this item because now they believe there might be a curse associated with trying to figure it out. Today, the exact location of the sphere is unknown, but we have a feeling it'll turn up again one day. Where do you think this sphere has gone? And what do you think the backstory to it is? Leave your comments below with the hashtag open discussion to let your voice be heard. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, the foam lake. When you walk past Bellender Lake, you might think that someone was taking a giant bubble bath. Everywhere you look, there's froth and foam. But the truth about that is, is that it's just not a bubble bath soap. It's toxic. Now, that isn't an uncommon occurrence in places like Bengaluru. A lot of their lakes foam up. It's just that in this one specifically, it's a lot more than usual. It's an alarming amount. This happens usually during the pre-monsoon and monsoon season. During this time, there are heavy rains and winds. This foam sometimes even overflows onto the roads and it causes some traffic. So how is it toxic? Some people have said that it causes skin irritation. That's because the chemicals that are in it are toxic. Not only is this a problem for the town in terms of traffic jams, it's problems with visibility, but also a public health threat. This pretty much happens because of the sewage system and the way the town is getting rid of chemical detergents and other things they use daily. So it's not a natural phenomenon. Here's to hoping that this town gets their act together and figures out how to rid themselves of this foam. We just hope that no one tries to take a dip in it. Number 13. Blue Dogs. Sometimes the most beautiful and head-scratching sights can have the most sinister backstory. Just imagine seeing some beautiful blue dogs walking through your town. 
It looks like a scene out of Wizard of Oz or Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. You'd be amazed just to see their blueberry colored skin. Well, this is the case out in Mumbai where 11 dogs were seen colored blue while walking down the street. Don't think for a second that it's chalked up to magic or some sort of natural phenomenon because residents of the town are saying that it's all because of a manufacturing company that's been accused of dumping untreated industrial waste and dyes into a local river. This caused the dogs to turn blue. This footage right here shows some of the dogs roaming the streets with bright blue fur. But don't worry, the factory which had been accused of dumping the waste has been shut down by Mumbai authorities. It's a shame that these dogs had to change color due to the waste. But at least with the plant shut down, there won't be any more blue dogs roaming the streets. On the bright side, the dogs were pretty to look at. Number 12. Graveyard Restaurant How does grabbing a bite to eat and visiting your deceased loved one sound? Usually, eating at a restaurant and being above a cemetery isn't the norm. But in Ahmedabad, India, it sure is. It's the restaurant that's built above a burial ground, and it's proud of it. The name of it is the New Lucky Restaurant, and it has an awesome menu of food, plenty of seating, and of course, exposed gravestones. So here's the deal as to why this place is built on top of a burial ground. The owner was faced with a short dilemma. The land had been open for taking, but it also had a burial ground. So he decided to capitalize on it, and instead of ruining a precious site, the owner built his restaurant around them, and he made the burial plots the main event. The menu came first, but still, you know why people showed up at the restaurant. There is a novelty to sitting around dead people. It's not a place that you'll find anywhere else, and you might have a hard time wrapping your head around it, but people do go and have a great time. Now, we don't want to make this sound like they're not respecting the dead. It's all about respect. The owner even erected steel bars around the grave so that no one will trade under the seat. So there's a level of respect there that keeps the place classy. Number 11. Blue City Remember the blue dogs on our list? We think we found a nice home for them because this entire city is blue. That's right, when you look out above it, it'll look like a mini pixelated ocean. It comes right out of the Thar Desert in India and it's painted blue mostly because of the past when blue had been an indicator of social class. And it still holds up today because when you look at it, it's pretty mesmerizing. It can even be soothing to the eyes. What helps to define these colors of the houses, they're all painted in an almost baby blue paint matching the sky. Back in the day, the blue pigment meant that a priest lived somewhere nearby, but since then, the blue coloring has taken on a life of its own. And the people of the city now look at the coloring as their identity. It represents who they are as a people in the town. Call it a town pride. And it's helped to attract a lot of tourists over the years. It's not only just filled with the color blue, there are plenty of mausoleums, gardens and lakes, and it has a history of over 500 years. It's a cool city to check out, but don't expect there to be any Smurfs. Number 10. Ancient Stepwell We've all heard of the traditional wishing well, but now what about a step well? It's exactly what you think it is. It's a combination of long winding steps down into a good area that's filled with water. It's a pretty mesmerizing sight. There's one in Chand Bowery, India that takes the cake and beauty. It also happens to be one of the largest step wells in the world. Not only is it the largest, but people coin it as the most beautiful. You have to work to go see it because it's not easy to find. It was built in the 8th and 19th centuries and has around 3,500 narrow steps which are arranged in perfect symmetry. You then can descend 20 meters to the bottom of the well. These step wells were built centuries ago to help provide water year-round. The measurements of this specific one are about 64 feet deep. 13 floors were built in the 9th century for water harvesting. It has a very precise geometrical pattern. You wouldn't be able to find something like this today. The steps even form a somewhat magical maze and play off lights and shadows to give it the captivating look you see. If there's anything that's true about it, it's that it's a beautiful sight to behold. And it also kind of makes us thirsty. Number 9. Pillar that never rusts One thing that's always common with landmarks and statues is that they weather over time. From the Statue of Liberty all the way down to the Eiffel Tower, things are prone to age. You simply can't avoid it. Because of the ocean around it, the Statue of Liberty has turned green. 
All that salt water stripped away its natural copper color. But now, what if we told you there was an iron pillar in Delhi that doesn't rust? It's rust proof. Let's just hope that this Statue of Liberty isn't jealous of this next one. When you first look at it, it looks like a 22 foot tall iron pillar. There's not much fanfare about it. And yeah, there is some rust on it, but not much. And that's an amazing thing because it's 1600 years old. There should be far more rust and decay on this one. Because of its age and ability to somehow not get older, it's now considered an artifact. Some people even consider it futuristic in its abilities. There are rumors that it might not even be from this world. And with all the rumors and crazy phenomena that surround this pole, people have wanted to pass it off as a hoax for the longest time. But unfortunately for the debunkers, there's nothing to debunk. The pole is just a testament to the work and skillsmanship that people had years ago. In addition to that, the pool is 98% pure wrought iron. It was most likely created using a coal-heated furnace. So, how does it not rust? It might have been an accident. Some researchers say that it's probably a combination of the lack of lime in the furnace used to make the iron pillar and the presence of raw slag. There are a lot of other elements that go into it. There's a reason why it's not rusting, but that doesn't matter. It's still a pretty impressive feat for 1,600 years old. Number 8. Butterball It's pretty impressive when you see a boulder this gigantic, especially one that's lasted through the ages. Giant rocks have memorized people for centuries. They've even been considered holy at some points in time. With that being said, now imagine one of these giant rocks looking almost like it's going to tip over, but it's balancing in real time instead. This is where Butterball comes into play. More specifically, it's called Krishna's Butterball, and it comes out of Mahabalipuram, India. Located on a steep rock slope in this historic town, this boulder has been attracting people for years. It looks like it's frozen in a roll down a hill, and no one's quite sure how it does that. A lot of the reasons come from Hindu mythology. It's said that the god Krishna had been just a baby when he was found stealing butter. The giant boulder might be a drop of that butter from the god, or so the mythology says. Today, tourists from all around the world come to take photos in front of the rock and make it look like they're pushing it down. Hopefully, no one pushes it down one day. So far, no one has, but you never know if the butter will finally slip. Number 7. Song Names Nowadays, names have become a lot different than they used to be, and that's how it usually works. Names go in and out of style. Names that were once popular decades ago are now reserved for older people. As the old names move away, in comes the new ones. It's interesting to note that this isn't how it works in every other place. A place called Kongthong. It's an Indian village where your name is a song. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty fun. Here's how it works. In this remote town, people have their regular name, a distinct melody, and a shorter tune that's much like a nickname. This all derives from history. In the past, in this village, people used to keep track of one another in the forest while humming and these songs were used to distinctively separate one another from animal calls. That's why this place also was nicknamed Whistling Village. So now, when a baby is born, it's not just about giving them a song as their name, but it's also paying a lot of respect to the ancestors. It's become a tradition. It's the same way that people name their children after themselves in Western civilization. It's a legacy thing, and we'd like to think that the names in this town have a cool beat to them. Number 6. Floating Pillar When you think of pillars, you might think of them supporting the structure around them. That's a pillar's job after all. There's always an exception to the rule, a standout, if you may. That brings us to the hanging pillar of Lepakshki Temple. It's a beautiful 16th century temple that's located in a small town in India. It was built in the typical style of the architecture of that time, but the temple features a lot of unorthodox sculptures of gods, goddesses, dancers, and other likenesses. No matter where you look, you'll be greeted by something extraordinary and beautiful. But the real standout here is that of the 70 stone pillars that are in the place, there's one that hangs from the ceiling. It's not connecting to the floor whatsoever. You can even pull a rug underneath it. So this happened because a British engineer had tried to move it 
and then it became dislodged from its original position. It technically was an accident, but at the same time, it's still a modern marvel to see today. This is one of those situations where an accident turned into something that tourists want to come see. Here's to hoping that nothing else happens to the other pillars. Number 5. The Tower of Silence Throughout history, birds have made a big impact on humans. Sure, sometimes they poop on our cars, but for the most part, humans find meaning in their existence. We're talking about doves at weddings and people who believe that cardinals coming to their backyard means a loved one is coming to visit from the afterlife. Even just when people find comfort in feeding the birds in the park, that can have a big meeting for someone. In a small town in Mumbai, vultures bring people a peaceful passage after death. And this all happens to the Tower of Silence on Malabar Hill. The alarming part about this is that the vultures are decreasing in numbers. This is going to affect a century-old ritual. The tower where this all happens is 300 years old, and it's located deep within a 54-acre forest. It's also the place where the deceased Zoroastrians are placed and exposed to scavenger birds. This is their sacred way of dealing with the dead. And unfortunately, because these vultures are decreasing and the number is messing up the natural process, the ritual that's been performed for years, it's a different way to deal with the dead. And it's probably the first time in history that anyone's wanted a vulture around. So here's to hoping that they do start increasing in population again, because no one likes when the ritual gets disturbed. Number 4. Buried Temple Who doesn't love stumbling upon a 200-year-old temple? This is exactly what happened to some Indian villagers who unearthed an 80-year-old temple. This is exactly what happened to some Indian villagers who unearthed an 80-year-old temple. It's not only around 200 years old, but it's been swallowed up by massive floods in 1850. Slowly but surely, it was completely covered with sand and sentiment by the year 1940. There's still some debate whether or not the temple is 200 years old or 300 years old, but there are a few certain things. The temple itself was dedicated to Lord Nagasawara, who was an avatar of the god Shiva. The older generations all created long-lasting memories of visiting the shrine, but unfortunately, their descendants were probably unaware of his existence because of his burial. It did have stories though, and some of those stories weren't even believed because there was a lack of existence when it came to the temple itself. Now with it being on earth once again, history can start over. New generations can visit it, and hopefully it doesn't get buried again. I guess you could say this temple came back from the dead. Number 3. Lake of Skeletons What's scary about a lake that's out in the middle of nowhere? How about a lake filled with skeletons? It's the mystery of India's Lake of Skeletons. High in the Indian Himalayas, there's a small lake nestled in a snowy valley, and all around it you'll find human skeletons. Hundreds of them. It's called Rupkund Lake, and it's located about 5,000 meters above sea level at the bottom of a steep slope. This happens to be one of India's highest mountains. You may not always see the skeletons upon arrival, because sometimes the lake remains frozen. For most of the year, actually, it remains frozen, and throughout this process, it expands and shrinks. When the snow melts, skeletons come out to play. Sometimes there's even flesh attached that's well preserved. This is obviously because of the freezing. Right now, there are an estimated 600 to 800 people who have been found with their skeleton remains. The government calls it Mystery Lake. What's going on here? The truth of the matter is no one knows. No one quite understands who the skeletons belong to. They don't know how the people died, and they don't know where they came from. The only story going around right now is that there was an Indian king, his wife, and their attendants, all of who may have perished in a blizzard around 870 years ago. There's another theory that goes around. Maybe it was Indian soldiers who tried to invade Tibet in 1841, but they were all beaten back. Nothing can ever be proved right now. All that we know is that it's a very spooky sight. Number 2. Twin Village Having twins is a rare occurrence. It's usually chalked up to whether or not it's your family genes. So that's why doctors are baffled when it comes to one Indian village where there are 220 sets of twins. Call us crazy, but it could get a little confusing. And it's not like the population is 9 million. Only 2,000 people live in this village. To be more specific, there were 2,000 families. This village in Kerala and researchers, doctors, along with scientists just don't know what to make of it. Statistically, in this town, 
there are almost six times as many twins born as the average global number. Back in the year 2008, 15 pairs of twins were born in the village out of 300 healthy deliveries. The number is only expected to grow. According to villagers, this phenomenon started about three generations ago, and now they don't know what's going on. In any case, at least the baby has a friend for life. Number 1. Haunted Temple We end our list with a haunted temple. It's called the Malcolm Mahal, and it's been spoken to people since 2014, maybe even before then. This is the story of Princess Mahal. She comes to Delhi with her two children, 15 dogs and 7 servants. It was in the year 2014 when the princess passed away, and then the prince, her son, was found dead along with his belongings ransacked. The spooky part about this story is just all the unanswered questions. How did these people live in such a place without any electricity? Where did they get their food from? How did they die? And now the fact that this place sits dormant, it gives off an eerie vibe. What do you think the backstory is? Let us know in the comments. India is a country that's ripe with culture and awesome people. Every day, new stories are being told. There's a history like no other place, but now we know that there are also plenty of mysterious discoveries that pop up on the regular. What will turn up next? We'll just have to find out.